Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to prove a statement using the principle of mathematical induction. So, bago yun, define muna natin yung ating mathematical induction. So, suppose P of N is a statement involving the positive integer N. Also, suppose that the following two conditions are satisfied. Letter A, P sub 1 is true. So, that is the statement is true for n equals 1. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ang first step natin using mathematical induction, we need to verify that our statement is true for n equals 1. Okay, so next, if k is an arbitrary positive integer for which p sub k is true, then p sub k plus 1 is also true. So, that is, whenever the statement is true for n equals k, it is also true for n equals k plus 1. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, after natin ma-verify na yung ating statement is true for n equals 1, we need to assume that our statement is true for n equals k. Okay, then, we need to show or prove that the statement is also true for n equals k plus 1. Nakuha? So then, the statement p of n is true for all positive integer values of n. So let's have example number 1. So using mathematical induction, prove that 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to plus n is equals to n times n plus 1 all over 2 for all positive integer n. So, dito guys, uh, we need to establish the two conditions stated in the principle of mathematical induction. So, ang first step natin guys, uh, we need to show that n equals 1 is true. Tama? So, since ang value ng ating n is equals to 1, ibig sabihin na yung number of terms doon sa ating series is isa lang din or 1 lang. Okay? So, in our case, ang first term natin is 1. Okay? So, that is equals to uh, n times n plus 1 all over 2. So, in our case, ang n natin is 1. So, that is 1 times 1 plus 1 all over 2. Tama? So, simplify natin to guys. We have 1 is equals to 1 times 1 plus 1. So, this is 2 all over 2. So, as you can see guys na meron tayong 2 doon sa ating numerator and denominator. So, pwede natin itong cancel in. Tama? So, we have 1 equals 1. Okay? So, hence, uh, the formula is true for n equals 1. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pwede tayong mag-move doon sa ating uh, second step since na-establish na natin na yung ating statement is true for n equals 1. Okay? So, ang next step natin, guys, is we need to assume that n equals k is true. Okay? So, in this step, guys, ang gagawin nyo lang is i-change nyo yung ating uh, n dun sa ating statement Okay? To K. Ibig sabihin, ang bagong statement natin is we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to plus K is equals to K times K plus 1 all over 2. Okay? Then after natin maisulat yung ating um, assumption, so, we need to show that 
n equals k plus 1 is also true. Nakuha? So, may bago tayong term dito which is yung ating k plus 1. So, saan natin ngayon isusunod yung k plus 1 dito sa ating series? Tama? So, yung k plus 1 guys, yan yung term na kasunod ng ating k. Nakuha? So, ibig sabihin, ang, ang mag series natin ngayon is magiging 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus k then after nung k ang next natin dito is yung ating k plus 1 nakuha so since n is equals to k plus 1 ibig sabihin yung n dito guys sa ating statement is magiging k plus 1 din tama so that is This series is now equals to k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1 all over 2. Nakuha? So, after natin ngayon, maririte itong ating series. Ito na ngayon yung ating magiging working equation to show that n equals k plus 1 is true. Okay, so magpo-prove na tayo guys. So, ang first step nyo dito guys, as you can see, na this series is the same guys dito sa ating assumption. Okay? So, this series is equals to k times k plus 1 all over 2. Ibig sabihin, pwede nating i-substitute itong ating expression dun sa ating series. Tama? So, we have k times k plus 1 all over 2 then meron tayo ditong ano additional term we have plus k plus 1 nakuha so this is equals to k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1 so ang sum natin dito is 2 all over 2 Okay, so ang gagawin natin ngayon, kailangan mapakita natin na itong left side ng ating equation is the same as nung expression natin doon sa right side. Okay, so since yung nasa right side natin is nakasulat as a single fraction, so kailangan i-combine natin itong ating uh, expression. Okay. So, since uh, may denominator tayo, which is 2, then yung k plus 1 natin is understood na may denominator na 1. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, ang LCD natin dito is equals to 2. Okay? So, simplify natin to guys. 2 divided by 2. So, ang sagot natin dyan is 1. Then, imumultiply natin dun sa numerator. We have... K times K plus 1. Okay? Then plus LCD which is 2 divided by 1. So that's 2. Times natin dun sa numerator we have K plus 1. Okay? Then dito guys uh, gagawa na natin to ng uh, paraan para maging kamukha na yung ating nasa right side. Okay? Okay? So, dito sa ating numerator, kung makapansin nyo, meron silang common binomial. Okay? Yung k plus 1, dito sa ating, um, sa unang part, is meron ding k plus 1 doon sa ating second part ng ating expression. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin yan i-factor out. Or ilalabas natin. Okay? So, kung i-factor out natin, yung ating k plus 1, So, ano ngayon yung matitira doon sa loob? Una, we have 1 times k. So, that's k. Tama? So, since nilabas na natin yung k plus 1, so wala na siya dyan. Then, plus. So, dito meron tayong 2. Then, since finactor out natin yung k plus 1, so wala na kasama yung ating 2. Tama? So, this is all over 2. 
So, this time, kung makapansin nyo guys, yung nasa left side nating na expression is the same na nung ating nasa right side. Tama? So, so therefore, uh, we have proven the two conditions required by the principle of mathematical induction. So, therefore, ano ngayon yung ating magiging conclusion? So, the formula or our statement is true for all positive integers n. Okay, so ito na yung ating end of proof. Nakuha guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba mag-prove ng isang statement using, um, the, using the principle of mathematical induction. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye! <laughs>